Welcome back. We now give you the details of the top stories I'm Randall Gomez. Third Planning Commission meeting continued its second day at Presidential Palace in Nipito on 27 December. Chairman of the Planning Commission, President Eden Singh, the Vice President, Dr. Sama Kam and Union Tun, Union Ministers, Union Attorney General, Union Auditor General, Chairman of Union Civil Service Board, Regions and State Chief Ministers, the Deputy Ministers, Chairman of Sub-Administered Regions attended the meeting. The respective persons presented reports on implementation of drafts and plans in their respective sectors. Union Minister Usamang, Regional Chief Minister Umi Sui, and Ula Jun Yang Sai presented reports. At the meeting, they discussed and approved the 10 framework for economic and social reforms. These frameworks are 1. Finance and revenue system reforms, 2. Financial sector reforms, 3. Relaxation for trade and investment matters, 4. Measures for private sector development, 5. Health and education sector reforms, 6. Measures for food security and agriculture sector development, 7. Measures for government system and to have transparency, 8. Measures for mobile phone and internet system development, 9. Plans for basic infrastructure development, 10. Plans to boost effective and efficient governing methods. President Utensen said reforms would be implemented in uh, all sectors with people-centered development approach while creating equality and job opportunities. While implementing agricultural development and establishment of industries, there should be special projects to conduct research for foreign markets and manufacturing of high-quality products. In order to promote the social living standard, urbanization project plans should be implemented in order to promote the characteristics of a city Flyovers were built to avoid traffic jams while extending local trains and expanding bus terminals. Regarding the extraction of natural resources, all-around policies needed to be laid down after systematic research on the impact of environmental and social effects of EIA and SIA. The government alone could not implement the national development, and he urged cooperation and participation of the people. The government committees will work together with development committees formed with the people in wards, villages, township, and district levels. The union ministers or ministries also need to check and monitor the accuracy of data by making field trips. In education sector, the teacher training schools must be renovated. For the promotion of life expectancy and reducing the mortality rate of children under five years old, health standards should be improved with the collaboration of private sector through public health awareness, prevention, and treatment of diseases. The people should study the existing laws and to follow the existing laws and rules. The president also stressed to pay attention for the welfare of service personnel. In other stories, President Utensen sent a message on the occasion of 13th Myanmar Traditional Medicine Practitioners Conference. It says that since year 2000, the conference has been held successfully every year. It's a great pleasure and honor that this year marks the 13th anniversary of the conference. He wishes the best to all Myanmar Traditional Medicine Practitioners who share their knowledge at this auspicious annual conference to bring about physical wellness to all Myanmar people through their service and professionalism. Myanmar is marching into a modern country according to the aspiration of the people. In fact, health and fitness of the entire people is the main driving force for all national round development. Myanmar people are not relying on modern Western medicine alone. They have full trust and confidence in their long accepted indigenous medicine. The practitioners should know well the vital role of these medicines in public health care. As the practitioners are working for the health and longevity of the country's citizens, their responsibility is huge, but the service is praiseworthy. The president called for unity at the 13th Myanmar Traditional Medicine Practitioners Conference to discharge the duty faithfully to provide health and wellness. More news are coming up. Please stay tuned.